afternoon. Thanks for tuning into my channel. It's Val in Vancouver here. Beautiful sunny day out here in Vancouver. I think it's Friday. I don't even know what day it is right now. Doing my bit by staying home and self-isolating and only going out if I have to. So today's pour I'm going to do um, a double open cup pour. So basically I took a couple of plastic cups that I've used before, cut them in half so that I can use them, but I also have the two smaller halves and I just cut the bottom out of that so that I can use those in the future too. But I'm going to do using the big ones today. And I'm also just going to, excuse me one second, so that to get my cup out. Excuse the rattling noise. I'm kind of feeling like I'm losing my voice lately because I'm not uh, talking to people much. I'm texting with people and, and emailing and things like that, but I'm not actually talking to people much, so I feel like I'm losing my voice. I'm just going to put these aside for a minute, and then we'll go into um, our project for today, our pour for today. Uh, I'm going for some pretty spring colors, so I'm going to flood my canvas here with the um, Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint in the white. We'll do that right now. This is a 12 by 12 canvas I'm using today. Oops, sounds like this one's getting near empty, but I've got another one if I need it. So I'm just going to spread that around and then we will talk about the colors I'm going to use today. Going for some pretty bright spring type colors because spring is definitely on the way. Hopefully we'll be able to get out there and start enjoying it more soon sooner rather than later if everybody does their part and stays at home as needed right now. I think we're starting to see some progress in that regard in BC where I live in Vancouver in the province of British Columbia. Um, I think our numbers are at least uh, not continuing to go up or not continuing to go up so much. I'm not 100% sure. To be honest I'm not paying too much attention to the news because it can definitely be depressing and I'm kind of only paying attention enough to know if there's anything different I need to do. So, but I think if we all just keep doing this, it's going to work. So, that's my take on that right now. I hope everybody is staying safe and is healthy. And that all your family, friends, and loved ones are also that way. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a little torque to get rid of any air bubbles and then I'll show you the colors we're going to use today. Open cup pours are awesome because you'll find often that the, uh, the cup starts to move as the paint starts to flow. So what I'm using today, I'm using the uh, Quinacridone Magenta from Liquitex Basics. I'm using the, uh, and the other three colors I'm using are all Artist Loft. I'm using the Aqua Green the light magenta and the turquoise. So I'm just going to start uh, putting those, actually I'm going to not put those in a cup. What I am going to do, just going to move this up a bit, get out of my way for a second. I am going to put some silicone in each of these just to help with the cell process. These paints are all mixed with Floetrol in a little bit of water. Uh, one to one flow trawl to paint and then just like I said a little bit of water to thin them out to the consistency I wanted. I'm going to put about two three drops of silicone in each cup. Even though it might look like the cups are different amounts of paint in them which is true but they are measured the same to uh, to get the um, flow trawl and paint ratio one to one. I'm just going to give these a good stir. Get that silicone mixed in. There's a lot of debate, I think, out there about whether you should stir a lot, stir a little. When you put silicone in your paints, I just stir so they look like they're stirred in. I don't worry about it. I like cells and I like big cells. I like small cells. It doesn't really matter to me, although I think I like big ones better. but. Some of that can be created by how much you stretch the paint when it's on the canvas, so. Okay, so let's put these on the canvas. 
We'll put one there and one there. Just going to move my paints over so that I can bring my canvas down a little closer to me and that it'll be a little more centered for you to see. So we'll bring them down. There we go. Okay, I was debating about pouring them in a cup, which I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to just start layering these in cups, in this cup, and then I'll pour into the uh, into the floating cups. So that was the quinacridone magenta. Now we'll go with the aqua green. Then we'll go with the light magenta. And then the drop, uh, turquoise. And then we'll just repeat that. On a 12 by 12 canvas, you need about 10 ounces of paint, I think, if I remember from the chart that I used. 10 to 12. You can, there's charts out there that you can look at on the pouring, different pouring groups like Julie Cutts uh, Pouring Your Heart Out and the Acrylic Pouring for Fun group. I'm sure I, I know I've seen those charts come up in there because that's where I got a copy of it. So you can figure out how much paint you need per, per canvas size. <clears throat> okay, let's do one more layer of each and that should be plenty. I'll use the leftover paint for something else of course. Try my very hardest not to waste any paint. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to move these a little bit more to the side so there's less chance of me knocking them over. And I'm also just going to clear the paints off too. Bear with me one second here. Okay, so let's begin pouring these in. I'm going to start with this cup here. Pour approximately half in there. And then we'll do the other half in here. And we'll go back to this one, trying to make them as even as I possibly can. Although it's not a big deal. So now there we go. Now it's starting to float. And this one is too. You can see the paint coming out from underneath. So that's the kind of fun, exciting thing about this method that I really like. And there's even some little bits of cells starting to come up already. Just going to do the last little bit of this. So, so pretty already. Look at that. Look at the cells and the colors coming out. Okay, that will do. There we go. Just going to get these out of my way also. Okay, this is pretty exciting. Oh, look at that. Look at the cells already. I don't even want to lift them, they're so pretty. I know I've seen people kind of do this thing where they just start to move them around on the canvas without lifting the cups. See if that creates anything interesting. These cup halves might be heavy enough that they're actually just dragging the white around, so I think I'm not going to do that. So let's lift this one up first. Lift it up slowly just to let the paint ease out. There we go. And we'll do the same with this one. Look at the, look at the cells on this side. Awesome. Let's lift it up slowly. And there we go. Oh, that's cool liking this already, loving the cells in here. So I'm just going to give this a quick torch before I start tilting. Get rid of any air bubbles. 
Okay, let's start tilting this. It's going to be interesting because I don't want to mix the colors too much. Hoping I can keep the white line that's in between them right now because I like that. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. I'm going to turn this around so I can start tilting in the other direction and you can see what I'm doing. But see this white line down here in the middle? I like that, so I want to keep that. So let's go ahead and tilt it this way. And then we'll go back over this way. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. I love how that turned out. Just going to make sure all my corners and the sides are coming down here. But that looks looking terrific. Excellent. I'm just going to turn it around so I can see this other edge. And make sure it's well covered. Very good. Can anybody just grab a paper towel? Oh, I'm liking that. I'm just going to give it another torch just to see if any more cells or anything are going to come up. I like this white. I forget. I, I remember reading about why this happens. Some people don't like it. I don't mind at all because I think it gives my paintings character. It doesn't bother me at all, but I know some people don't really like it and some people consider it a mistake or an error, but I do not. So let's just give these another torch. I love this line. I love the river going through the middle here. Just spectacular. Actually, I'm going to turn it a bit and just tilt it a bit more that way. Just a little. See how much it'll move. bit more this way. Sorry if you're out of frame there, my apologies. And having it move a little bit more down in that direction. And once more, just a little bit back, trying to get the line kind of in the middle, but not exactly. And I'm also liking that as I'm moving it, it's not staying straight, it's morphing a little bit. Okay, I think that is good. Grab my paper towels here and wipe off my fingers. So that is pretty cool. That's a double floating cup pour, open cup pour it's called. I really like that. Not sure if I like the uh, quinacridin magenta in this particular combination. It's a gorgeous color, but I'm not sure if I like it in this combination. Perhaps another lighter color might have been better, maybe some yellow or something like that, but overall I really like it. Love, love, love this part. So just give me one second and we'll bring you in for close-up. Okay, I'm back to show you in that close-up. Just wanted to take off my gloves and give that a minute to set and see to sit and see what else might happen with it. I'm gonna bring you in down to the bottom left corner here. Love all this uh, blobs and, and cells that have color rings around them and the uh, little streaks running through. Really, really like that. Then we'll move over here. And this is the beginning of the line that I've been talking about the whole time. 
that I really like that goes all the way through the middle. And look at the cells in there. Just love that. Let's go down, back down, and over to the bottom right corner. And again, lots of streaks and, and cells and lacing type. Uh, I forget what people call those dendrils, something like that sometimes. Tentacles. I like them. And then this kind of river here I really like. Let's go up to the top right corner now. We've got that white sort of lacing and dendrils, tendrils all the way up the side here, which I really like. And then we've got the top right here, going over to the top left, but here's the other end of that river, and those cells there are awesome. And then we'll go over here, and we've got some more of the lakes and puddles and cells. So I'm really, really liking that. And then I don't know if anybody noticed, but my nails right now are absolutely fabulous. My daughter is a nail tech in uh, Peterborough, Ontario, and is absolutely fabulous. She hand-painted this set for me. They are glue-on nails, because I find my nails, with my work, just don't grow very well or stay strong. So she hand-paints me uh, patterns and beautiful colors and things like this. These are obviously cherry blossoms. So she does sets for me all the time and nails them to me so I can wear them. So I just wanted to show you those because she just I just got them yesterday in the mail. And I'm so, so happy with them. Let me just show you the other hand. So yeah, she hand-painted this. She's so, so talented. So I just wanted to bring that up. And then the other thing I just wanted to... Let me see if the camera is going to focus on that. There we go. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is my dot painting. So my dot painting is done. Let's go over here and have a look at my dot painting. It's sitting on the shelf on top of a bunch of paints right now. So there is my dot painting. I am finished this one. This is my first one ever, and I'm very happy about it. There's a few mistakes where some of the paint ran off at the top of the dots that it was on, but overall I think this is pretty fabulous for my first attempt. So the next one I do is probably going to be more of a mandala pattern, um, and I'm going to probably fill in every inch of the canvas, but I really like this one. I really like how it turned out. It was a lot of fun to do. I found it very th therapeutic and soothing right now with everything that's going on to be able to do that. And there you can see a glimpse of all my paints, not all my paints, some of my paints. Anyways, here's today's painting with the double floating cup, open cup pour uh, using those paints. I hope you had a fun time watching this. Take care of yourself, stay safe, stay home, and enjoy the day. Thank you.